Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR. And I'm going to do a little short video on uh, NetLogger. If you go to netlogger.org, you can find out where to download it. And just click on the big arrow. And when I start it, it will it will go to a donate page and you want to donate if you end up using this thing and then select the version that you're on and put your name and your your call sign uh, your name or call sign and then your email and uh, then click on download and it'll go right into your download folder if you're on a Windows uh, it'll go to your download folder if you're on a Mac it'll go to your download folder and uh, from there, then you you choose uh, uh, how you how you install it on your computer. Whether you're using a Mac or a Windows, it's a little bit different on either. So uh, install it. But once you get it installed and you open it, uh, you can go in and uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, select a net. And I've got the three there, the same that were on the website. Three there, and I'm waiting for uh, the Breakfast Club, and I'm going to show you. Uh, how it works. Martin WB0OUX, he'll be using it. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like when somebody's uh, operating. Okay, uh, let's see. Martin's just starting the net. And uh, I'm going to go over to Select Net. And he lists it as the Breakfast Club. And you can see the frequency 3973. So I'm going to select it and then go down to monitor. And he's already got a few on here on his list. I think he's given a moment of silence right now. And he's looking for mobiles only. But he's got himself at the top of the list. And if you're monitoring the net, he's just going through it. And you'll see him typing them in. K zero P I R, and you'll see him typing them in. There's a slight delay, but you see my name just or my call sign just popped up. And this comes in handy if you're having a tough time copying net control. Uh, it shows you where he is. And we'll see in just a second he'll move down. There's his uh, active row right now. He's still adding some. But we'll see. He, he'll start down the list and you'll see what's active, uh, who he's calling, and then who's up next. And if I can't hear him very well, I, I really pay attention to this and uh, try to listen and, and see if I can just get some glimpse of him turning it over to me. So we'll watch this a little bit and we'll see what happens. Okay, he's calling uh, WA9AQQ and you can see he's highlighted. So that's the one he's working right now. And, uh, the ones that he's worked over here, the status, the CO is checked out. So he's worked that station and he's going to the next one. And this pink line in here, pink, purple, 
minutes, whatever it is. That's uh, that's the stations he, he's working currently. So there's a little bit of, the, of a delay, but if you're uh, if you're having trouble copying the net control, this can really be helpful. And under the remarks, Martin is typing this in. I'm not doing anything except watching the progress. There, he just typed in uh, HKS's remarks. Uh, you've got the state here and uh, the city and the name. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's Martin's... Uh, Martin's application running on his computer that's that's doing that that's filling all that in and I've got some QRM okay now he's on bill AFD so there's a slight delay There, we just got the refresh. And if you're having trouble uh, hearing net control, this is a good tool to use. And if we have a lot of check-ins, that's a really good tool to use, even if you hear the net control. Uh, at least it's, you can see where you are on the list. Uh, I've seen sometimes where there's 30, 40 check-ins and uh, at least you know how much you, you can guesstimate how much time you have before your turn is up uh, and uh, another uh, another one that I use is this tool here is uh, the Utah web SDR and if you just type in uh, web SDR one uh, I think you ought to be able to bring it right up let's let's give it a try here Oh, there, Web SDR one, and this is the one that I'm on. And uh, for mine, I'm using a, a Mac, so I need to start my uh, audio, but I need to put the frequency in there first. Thirty-nine seventy-three. Hit the tab. Make sure that uh, I'm on the right mode, and I'm on USB right now. It's showing. So I need to get on the right mode, and how do I do that? It's down here, uh, lower sideband, wide, and I'm going to start my audio. Here's the indicator down here. Now if you're on a Windows computer, you won't have to start it, it'll start right up. So all you need to do is type in the frequency and make sure you're on the right mode. And they have another uh, some neat things over here. Uh, noise reduction, I, I usually put that on low. And the audio buffering, I usually put that on the uh, lowest. Because then there's not, not a big delay. There's Martin in there. There we go, on QDP right now. So between these two tools, uh, even if the band conditions are really bad, um, I, I, can still, uh, I can still operate and uh, usually do pretty well. I've used these SDRs even when I'm calling the net. I'll use the SDR and I'll use NetLogger. 
So it's going to be a little bit before he gets down to me. I'm going to pause the video and I'll pick it back up uh, right before he gets to me. Okay, well, we're almost down to me. Now all this up here is filled in by the program. Uh, when I started monitoring it, uh, it fills this in. And uh, we can view the other people monitoring it by clicking on this button. And you'll see there's 12 people monitoring the net right now, which is good. Uh, we need need people to start using this. Okay, he's calling in Dave right now. And then I'll be up next. So you can view the monitors, and this is uh, almost instant messaging. And uh, that brings up this window. I guess you could type in a message here. I, uh, it tells me I started monitoring it and what time. And uh, shows when it was opened. So I'm going to close that. He's... He's coming up on me, so I better listen. Turn my Vox on. Okay, good morning, Martin, and good morning to everyone on the Breakfast Club. I uh, got a pretty decent copy on you right now, Martin. I'm uh, using uh, the net logger and can see a uh, nice list you got going here. And I was wondering about the colors. I forgot. Do you change the colors on there or is that just uh, predetermined? Uh, you can, uh, uh, maybe you know, I, I'm not sure. I, I thought I could change the colors. But anyway, I'll get to the uh, uh, weather here. It's 43 degrees, 43 and raining. Only going up to a high of 50 today. We've had a, a couple of beautiful days here. Uh, two or three beautiful days. And now we uh, finally got some rain. Looks like uh, the rest of the week we're going to be uh, into the uh, 30s and uh, even the 20s. Boy, it's uh, winter time is here, I guess. Uh, thanks for running it, Martin, and uh, let me know about the colors on uh, on that logger. Uh, uh, let's see, uh, WB0OUXK0PIR, back to net. Okay, I'm sorry you can't hear him very well. I should have piped the audio right from the radio into the computer. I was using a microphone so you could listen to him. But basically what he's saying is the grays are the, the stations that are checked out. Uh, the, the magenta is the highlighter. That's the one that he's on. And in just a, a few seconds, I'll bring up the color legend. And you can see uh, all the colors that are available on uh, NetLogger and what they mean. Okay, Martin, yeah, I'll take a closer look at that. Thanks, uh, thanks for the explanation. Uh, back to Net, K0PIR.
Okay, so there's the, the color legend. And, I, yeah, I don't think you can change the colors. I guess you can't. But it shows you, uh, let's see, the station worked. Uh, that's the W in there. And the gray uh, is checked out. And uh, you got the W and the gray. And then this tells me uh, that was me. So I was in there. So uh, that's it for uh, that's it for net logger. So uh, yeah, between uh, these two tools, uh, hopefully it'll make your operating a little bit easier when the the bands are crummy. And uh, this one uh, really does work good. And uh, the SDR in Northern Utah. And then I've got another one over here. You can just Google K3FEF. And I'm not hearing anybody on this one right now. But that's in Pennsylvania. So pretty much covering the country, uh, uh, Utah, then myself, and then Pennsylvania. And I can listen to both of these at the same time. Um, and it does work too. Uh, it's, uh, it comes in pretty useful. I've got the 3973 on there right now. I'm on the lower sideband. And I'm going to go ahead and start the audio. Got it muted. Yeah, I can barely hear people on there. Watch this, because if you click in here, it'll change your frequency. So I can't hardly hear anybody in there, but I'll leave it going. And then come over to this one and unmute it. I'm hearing stations better, I think, on my radio right now. So I've got both of these going, and in uh, Safari, this web browser, uh, you can see the, the icon for the, the sound. I'm getting sound from both of these. So between the two of them and my home radio, I can, uh, I can usually pull people out. Of course, there's a delay with the SDRs. And there's even a delay between these two. When I hear a station on both of them, there's an, it sounds like an echo. But it's, it's manageable. Go ahead and mute those and turn my radio back up. Oh, there's Jerry in there, KB9DEH. Okay, and uh, the the work, the, the red ones are worked, and this must be mine, because when I'm running the net and I start logging, that's what I use up here to, well, I, I create the net, and then I start logging. When I do that, I'll log the people, and it shows up down here. So, it must be, uh, it must be uh, using my, uh, my logger, the standalone here. Um, and I, I've, wor I've it's shown that I've worked him. I haven't worked uh, in NK9A or WA9RYF. I haven't worked them yet. But uh, when I start running the net on Thursday, uh, I'll uh, see if I can do a little quick video and show you how I use it uh, when I'm logging the station. So right now I'm monitoring and then on Thursday I'll actually be running it and I'll be logging it. Okay, well the, between these I think you, you should be good and uh, don't forget to stop monitoring and uh, then you can uh, you can close it out after you stop monitoring just click the X and that does it. Alright, well thanks for watching. I hope you find this informative and useful please visit my website www.k0pir.us and if you haven't already click that subscribe button below and if you want to be notified when I put out a new video ring that bell thanks again 73 and good DX